Hello beautiful people, how's it going? I'm back with another video and I'm really excited because I've been waiting to make this video for the past couple of weeks now, but obviously I couldn't have uploaded it because the spoilers in the video are very tragic and I did make a mistake on that very recently and so I wanted to take that back and so I decided to wait. But now it has officially been two weeks since The Crimes of Grindelwald was released and so now it's finally time to upload this and actually make this video on what I think the ending of The Crimes of Grindelwald means and trying to make sense of the reveal of, get ready for it, Aurelius Dumbledore, Credence as Dumbledore's brother. So for those of you who are new, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I make a lot of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts videos. And I've been making Fantastic Beasts videos for the past two months leading up to the film. And now that the film is actually out and we have more questions than we actually started with, we need to go on a journey together. And uh, now is the time to start. Now, once again, spoiler alert for those of you who haven't seen the film, but at the end of Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, Gellert Grindelwald reveals to Credence that he is actually Aurelius Dumbledore, Dumbledore's brother, as Grindelwald states it in the film and in the screenplay. What a lot of fans don't understand about this twist is that they think that it can't physically be possible because both Dumbledore's mother and father died way before Credence was allegedly born. But I'm here to debunk that theory and completely tell you guys that Credence really is Dumbledore's brother that Dumbledore did not know about and will become aware of in the next Fantastic Beasts films. Now the reason everyone rightfully so thinks that this isn't possible is because we know for a fact Percival Dumbledore, Dumbledore's father, died in 1890 after he was sent off to Azkaban for killing the three boys that bullied Ariana Dumbledore, his daughter. And to even enforce that quite further is that Credence couldn't have been Dumbledore's mom's son because Kendra Dumbledore died in the early summer of 1899 when Ariana had one of her explosions which ended up killing her mother. Which leads us to only one other date in Dumbledore's history and lineage, and that is the date that Ariana Dumbledore, Dumbledore's younger sister, died at the age of 14 in a duel between Dumbledore, Aberforth, and Gellert Grindelwald. This battle has been discussed so much in the Harry Potter series and was discussed a lot in The Crimes of Grindelwald in a very, very beautiful scene between Dumbledore and Lita, in which Dumbledore claims that there is no bigger regret he feels in his life than the death of his younger sister, who he claims he did not love enough. Why I think that's prominent is because we know that this story is going to evolve Dumbledore into the person that we know and love. And we know that the Dumbledore we meet isn't necessarily the Dumbledore in the Harry Potter series for many contributing factors, mainly the fact that he evidently isn't the person who he is in Harry Potter because he's not wearing all of his extravagant suits. He is definitely battling a lot of demons and you can see that when he looks into the mirror of Erised and sees Grindelwald in this movie. Now with the help of the beloved screenplay for Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald, I'm going to pull up a quote that Dumbledore used in the film in the beginning. Pure blood or not, I know this, an obscurus grows in the absence of love as a dark twin and only friend. If Credence has a real brother or sister out there who can take his place, he might yet be saved. Now, a lot of people online have been playing with the idea that Credence could be a dark twin of Dumbledore, Aberforth, or Ariana, and I 100% believe that Credence is the dark twin of Ariana Dumbledore. When this theory first came into my head, I realized that obviously that can't be possible because Credence was born in 1904 and Ariana died in 1899. However, in The Crimes of Grindelwald, we are given a very, very key piece of information that there was a shipwreck that happened in 1901 that Lita Lestrange was on in which she replaced Credence with Corvus Lestrange, her brother. Now it got me thinking, how could it be possible that Credence was on the ship in 1901 if his birth certificate claims that he was born in 1904? I think this is possible because Dumbledore's only living relative, his aunt, was the lady on the ship when Corvus Lestrange died. However, she didn't know that it wasn't her son that died. It was actually Corvus Lestrange. And so she assumes that her son, who by the way is the offspring of Ariana Dumbledore's Obscurus, is actually alive and is Credence Barebone because his name has changed now but now his name is back to Aurelius Dumbledore because Grindelwald gave it back to him. It's not complete 100% Harry Potter canon that Ariana Dumbledore was an Obscurus but we understand that Ariana Dumbledore used to have explosions because she would try to suppress her magic because she was bullied as a child. Now, along with the description of the Obscurus from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, we know that an Obscurus grows in the absence of love and just bursts out when it can't contain it anymore. And 
The only case that we've seen of an Obscurus that is so powerful is Credence, and I've always wondered why that could be. Why is it that Credence is so much more powerful than all of these kids? The fact that Credence outgrew his Obscurus is the whole reason the twist in the first film works, because there is no child known in history to surpass the age of 12 as an Obscurus because it kills you. Yet, Credence has been able to manage that, even though we know Credence is a very weak and emotionally fraudulent character. The only explanation is that Credence has mastered this power, or the fact that Credence is an offspring of another Obscurus. And when Ariana died in that duel, we've never gotten a concise piece of information on who was the person who cast the spell that killed her, but we're also aware that in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, when Credence was apparently killed in human form, he remained alive, even though it wasn't really explained in The Crimes of Grindelwald, but we're not going to get into that anytime soon. So who's to say that Ariana's Obscurial didn't live on after the battle? Who's to say that Ariana's Obscurial didn't fly off like Credence's did in Fantastic Peace and Where to Find Them? In fact, maybe Credence's Obscurial in Fantastic Peace and Where to Find Them is Ariana Dumbledore's, and therefore we've actually been introduced to Ariana Dumbledore the whole time because her Obscurial is actually Credence's, and that makes Credence her dark twin, or so to say. And the reason I feel like this is such a prominent theory in the world of Harry Potter and the world of Fantastic Beasts is how amazing would it be if Dumbledore's biggest regret is actually in human form standing right in front of him trying to kill him. We know that the reason Grindelwald wanted Credence now this whole time is because he knew who Credence was and he needs him to take down Dumbledore. He knows that Dumbledore's biggest regret in the world is the one thing that can take him down and literally seeing the embodiment of his dead sister who Dumbledore may or may not have accidentally killed, that would that would destroy Dumbledore. And it's very heartbreaking, but it explains so many things. It explains why Percival Graves needed Credence to be the one to hunt the Obscurial, because he knew that Credence would have that sort of experience with it, and he knew who Credence was the entire time. It really does answer a lot of questions, and it is the only physical way that Credence could be Albus Dumbledore's brother, is that he is Ariana's twin, therefore making him Aberforth and Dumbledore's brother as well. What you must understand from the series is the fact that Credence was not actually born. Credence was not an offspring of Dumbledore's mother or father. He is only related to Ariana Dumbledore quite personally. But I'm almost certain that this theory is the way that Joe's going to go with it because I really like the idea of the embodiment of someone's guilt coming back to haunt them. And I know that this story, as Joe claims it, is how Dumbledore became Dumbledore. So, I'm gonna go with it. And again, the reason I feel like this is the only way it could become true is because Albus Dumbledore's parents, both Kendra and Percival, died. Also, I do think it's very interesting that uh, the name that Mr. Graves went for when Grindelwald was disguised as Percival was Percival, and Dumbledore's dad was named Percival. I just think that's funny. I don't know how that links together, but I just think it's funny. And yeah, so thank you all so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like and a comment down below and subscribe to my channel to see a lot more Harry Potter content. Bye guys!